Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from ScrapbookingWithMe.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and on Instagram. Today we are going to make collage card fronts or collage ephemera pieces or whatever you want to call them. We're going to be making these and I have one more in the making that I will show at the very end of the video. These are great for card fronts, adding a card base and mailing, or you can add them straight to your junk journal pages, or you can add a pretty back of some kind for journaling space and add them to a pocket in your junk journal or add them to a scrapbook page. The possibilities are endless with these little uh, four and a quarter by five and a half pieces of beautiful art collaged art and I'm going to show you how I make them. Are you ready to get to scrap busting? Then let's get started. So we are going to start this project with an eight and a half by eleven sheet of white cardstock, just plain white cardstock, and we are going to cut it into four equal sections. So I'm going to go to my five and a half mark on my eleven inch side. And this is going to be our base for our collages. I cut that at five and a half mark. And now I'm going to cut at the four and a quarter mark. Okay, turn your paper and cut at four and a quarter. So now you have four equal sections of that eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock and this is the normal size of a um, invitation card greeting card so you can do multiple things with this palette right here just this one piece this is a standard size for a greeting card, an invitation size greeting card. So this is going to be our base for our card front collages. And I have lots and lots and lots of scraps here that I just pulled out of my scrap bin. And I also got some of these project life cards that I have not used in years and I just got some that kind of went along with my theme I might even do I was thinking about doing a black and white and mustard um, collage so I really like that and then I got some of these that have the muted colors that go along with some of my scraps that I thought I would use so this is a great way to use up those Project Life cards if you're like me and you're not using them anymore. Um, they're great little pieces of art that you can kind of tear and make a beautiful collage with. So we'll be using those. And then, of course, our scraps that I have out here. I have some um, book page and newsprint and then just some um, kind of watercolored or distressed papers. Then I've got my Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Now I have regular, you can use the oxides also. I also have the Walnut Stain if, um, you know, I want a piece to be darker or something. So let's go ahead and start with this first card base. Let's cover one. Would this come from the... Um, my sweet collection let's see that is still in the shop i think there are just a few prima this is prima marketing my sweet um collection that i had some scraps of and i may use oh that goes really pretty with it yep okay so i have my Four and a quarter by five and a half base. 
And then I have some, um, this is actually card stock. It's not um, book page, but that would work too, book page. And then some scraps from that, and then some um, Project Life cards that go along with the same colors in it. And then I think with this one, I'm going to cover mostly with a book page and build from there. So I'm going to tear the edges and if I can do this straight, possibly, maybe. I'll do it with my tear tool. There, on that side. And then I want a little bit more there. And a little more there. Put those off to the side because I don't know if I might need them. fill in some gaps. So it's still a little wide, so let's do there we go. Alright and yeah vintage photo and just ink around the edges. You don't have to get it perfectly distressed on every edge. I'm going to dirty it up just a little bit on those two edges. I think I'm just going to put it smack dab in the middle and just build around it. So. folder here. Since this is a larger piece of scrap and get that glue really distributed off to the all over the back. Okay and then let's see. This one's up and down, so I might do that. There. And yep, I'm going to go off of the top just a little bit here. Okay, and then maybe add some craft to the bottom under this. This is just piece of scrap craft cardstock. It actually has some ink splotches on it from um, some mixed media I was doing. I'm good with that. So let's just yank that up and add that over. Yep, that'll work there. And just go all the way across the bottom. Uh, 
right and then add glue here and here and pull down those edges of the book page and then this is going to sit here and cover up that little tear right there that I don't want shown. We'll go ahead and get that adhered down and then that takes care of that edge there. Yep. Come over just a little bit. There we go. All right. And tear a little here. And maybe some polka dot. Up under that. Yeah, that's pretty. Let's ink that a little bit. Get my glue on there. That's pretty. And <laughs> I need a little bit longer of a piece of that. I could do that and then leave the bottom edge not so attached so I could add something underneath it. Let's do there. I like that speckled polka dot and that kind of goes along with that one also. So I might do a big piece here. Go on up underneath that. Cute. I want to get it mostly on here, so I'll add an, another little piece of something there. I'll go ahead and ink that one. And then glue all over here and then a few swirls on the back of that before I add it down and I want to get as much of that card base covered there and then that little piece right there, I think, needs a part of a butterfly. Cute. Then let's see. Here, I think I might add a tab to the top of that. That would be cute. Let me find my tab punch here. Yeah, let's see. I think I might just do craft.
and let's see and a piece of this along the bottom of that tab Yeah, I like that. Okay. Let's go all the way across there. And I'm going to leave the hang off that it has. Yep, and then I'll add. Some ephemera, and if you have the My Sweet ephemera that goes along with the pad, then that would be wonderful to add. Let's see. Well, I like that, and. Ooh, I like that too. Okay, let's see how we can add this. No, nope, I want that there. Hmm. That little section's throwing me off here. This right here. I like that there. And then I'll pull out a few more die cuts here. This is the Nature Lover die cuts that I have left. I used quite a bit of them. That's too big. Still think I need to add a little here. And cover that up just a teensy little bit. And then I'm going to ink that that here and go ahead and add that before I change my mind because I really like that that's pretty kind of whomper jaw it that way and then up under that maybe yeah I like that ink Oop, I didn't ink that bar, but it's darker than the vintage photo anyway, so I think we are all right. Okay, and then I'm down just a little bit, make sure that all of that's going to be on the card base, and it is, because I really like that. And then maybe this here. And make sure, yep, all that's going to be on there. Okay, and then I'm going to dirty it up. There. I like that. Very pretty. There, yes, 
all of that's going to be on there. Hold that down a little bit. And then I want a little animal or a something there on that. Let's see if we've got any butterflies in this. I have used some of it, so I might have already used all the butterflies out of it. Let's well just dump them in here. This is just an old die cut pad that, I mean, package that I had gotten from Oh, my, 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 my. Love it. Love, love, love it. Love, love, love it. Yep. Okay. So that was the Kaiser Craft pen and ink die cuts. They're not available anymore. It's just, like I said, from my stash. So let's ink this puppy up. And I'm going to dirty it up, too, because it is white, white. And it needs to blend in a little bit more. Give it some camouflage. And then ink this blessed. Yep. Pretty, pretty. I'm going to add these into this too. Let's see. Okay. The magic part for me, though, is cutting down on the sides and then seeing that little piece of four and a quarter by five and a half um, artwork, you know, that you've, you've built. That's the magic part for me after putting on the little itty bitty pieces and parts okay and then I think I'll just put a line across and in the middle of the body of the butterfly so that I can pull that up a little bit if I need to on the edges All right and See if I've got a little saying of some kind that I can put right there. If not, I'm fine with that too. I want that. I want for this, not for this tag though, but I like that. Nah, I'll just write on it later when I add it to my junk journal. Alright, so I'm going to flip it over and make the magic happen. So we're just going to go right along that card base. lovely scissors. They're brand new out of the package. Love them, love them. All right, right along the edge. All four sides. And then remember, I put a tab at the top of this so I don't want to cut that off. I almost went straight across and cut it off. Okay. And then... I'm just going to cut that off and go behind my tab cut that off. Pretty. And then go along all of your edges of your base. Pretty. And I think I'm going to add one more thing 
this over here. I'm going to get my walnut stain and my stamp base, wherever it is. Well, I don't know where my little one is, so I'll just get my big one. And I want to put, yep, this one. A little bit of stamping. And this is just a swirl, kind of messy stamp that I've got in my stash. I think it actually come from Coco Daisy, but it is sold out unfortunately uh, and then a scrap piece behind so I don't get it on my desk there oh yeah I like that and then power of three let's do power of three even if it's just tiny yep I'm gonna go here on the very edge of this So there's two and then just do one little bitty piece here oh yeah I like that very pretty I like the stamping like all the collage, I like how much of the book page is showing. That's very pretty. And this is ready to add to a card base if you want, um, or it's ready to add into your junk journal as is. Just glue the back and add it into your junk journal on the page. Or you can add, like I will be doing, I'm going to add a piece of craft onto the back and putting it in a pocket so there's numerous ways that you can use these um, card collages you can add a card base and mail them to someone you can you know write thanks or happy birthday or whatever on on the front of it or stamp it and you can add that um, like I said, to a card base, or you can just add it into your junk journal as is, or onto your scrapbook page as is, uh, just as a piece of handmade ephemera. Um, or you can add um, craft or whatever color cardstock to the back and make a pocket in your journal and add it into your pocket as a journaling spot. I love that. I think I want to start with this. Let's move this over. This part goes more with all of that, so I think I'll start here and just start tearing. And just willy nilly. And then we're going to use our vintage photo. And I just go ahead and distress all of the edges, even though some of them may not be seen and may get cut off. I'm just making sure that all edges are distressed before I start building my collage.
I just press down on my stamp lid instead of the actual ink. That's so smart of me. And kind of overlap that there. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. You're just willy-nilly. I use that word a lot in my videos. Willy-nilly adding Okay, I'm going to go ahead and rip this part off because I want to use it. There. We'll cover up that base of the card. And. <laughs> I like that. Um, this could be like a journaling card and you could write there. I like that. And I want to add a little bit shorter. Take my lid off. And then ink. Let's say I'm going to go under a little bit. And then I'm going to go off to the side a little bit. And I'm just going to put it here on my card so I'll only get it where I want it and not get glue all over my desk, hopefully. Then I'll cut off the rest of that. And then here. And then cattywampus it a little bit. there okay and then i've just got a little piece of base here and some base here at the bottom i don't want to kind of um, break up all of that just going in the straight line down so let's do Horn of this, and you're just going to barely see any of it because a lot of it's going to get cut off, so that won't be too cray cray with the black stripe. You just get a little hint of it here at the bottom. Okay, and then. I want to add right there. If I was doing a live, y'all could tell me what to add over there, couldn't you? Let's just add some of this dot grid here. Ink that. And again, I'm using the Vintage Photo regular Tim Holtz Distress Ink. Um, oxide would work also. Okay, I'm going to come up here and add that there okay that is my card front covered so now I'm going to need to turn it over and get my scissors And just cut along. You really want to wait for that, all of that glue to dry because you don't want to mess up your scissors, scissor blades. About 
this at the top should be pretty since it was the one of the first things I did so let's go along and you might get a little resistance going along through there because you've got quite a few layers on some of it but just try not to cut the card base itself and we're just going to cut along that straight line of the base Okay, and that little bitty piece on that side that's hanging off, I think I'll just leave it because it's not, it's just barely hanging off. All right, and then last side. These scissors cut like butter, even through all those layers. This is the Tim Holtz. Uh, six inch um, haberdashery scissors that we have in the shop and I will leave a link below to those a direct link All right and then I think I'm going to add a little bit of coffee stamp to the edge here yep and I think I'll just use my walnut stain and turn it over and make sure that it's all covered and get me some scrap paper I like that I think I'm just going to add that one I like that and then maybe let's do a couple of splatters maybe here and there yep <clears throat> let's add some splatters maybe here yep and there let's see here I might go off right over here. Well, I got it all on there. Good. Okay. Yep. That is pretty and grungy. It's pretty grungy. <laughs> that. And then, since I've got those letters on there, I thought I would add a little bit of washi to kind of break it up and I think I'll add it there just so you can see just the edge of that because I want it to go off anyway and I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back of my washi because washi sometimes especially on the edges likes to come up so I'll cover that, come straight down. We need some more behind this. Now I'm going to do the walnut stain all around the edges of this. Dirty it up there and dirty it up there. Okay. And let's see. I 
think it actually needs one more little something something. So I have this little piece of twine. I think it's a jute. And it's pretty stiff. So I'm going to crunch it around in my hand to kind of soften it up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. All right, I'm going to add that piece of twine. I love glue dots for this exact reason put just a couple on the back side where it is tied together and then kind of mush them I love using glue dots for this and that way you have no glue that you are waiting to dry and hoping that it stays where you want it to stay and then you can kind of manipulate the strings to how you want it so that's cute i like that so here are the two card front or journaling cards or whatever collage cards that i made in this video and one's a little bit bolder than the other but both beautifully messy perfect <laughs> and i already have an idea for a third one remember we get four of these bases from one piece of eight and a half by eleven cardstock so I'm going to make this one and I will show you still shots up close at the end of this video thank you so much for watching guys y'all have an amazing day and God bless bye